Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good Thursday morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN, 9 a.m. Eastern Time. We got about 30 minutes to go until the opening bell, and you got markets popping in the pre market. We're right back to the highs of yesterday's session. You check out the SP futures, you were down to a price point of about 5,090 overnight. And since then, we've surged higher. You got SPs right now trading up by 20 points. That's about four tenths percent in the positive, trading at 51.32. NASDAQ 100. Pretty similar action. You trade lower overnight. We pop into yesterday's high. NASDAQ 100, we're up by about six tenths percent. 18,147. You get the Dow right now. Up by 95 points, 38,800. And the Russell right now, up by about 10 points. That's half a percent in the positive. Bitcoin, a little bit of volatility on Tuesday. Yesterday, you chop around near 68,000. We're right, right back at that price point. 67,650, down about 100 bucks on the session. Crude this morning, backing off from the highs of yesterday. We hit $80.67 for the high of yesterday. This morning, we're down a bit, still trading at $78.59, relatively high recently for the price of crude. Jump over to gold. Boy, this gold rally, man, watch out. Now, we got an ECB decision. They hold rates the same this morning. That decision was out at 8.15 a.m. Eastern Time. You have a press conference with the guard. That's going on right now as we speak putting a little bit of volatility into the currencies, a little bit of volatility into yield, into commodities, of course, as is usually the case. Gold up by about $6 at $21.64. You just hit $21.72 on a little bit of volatility to the upside as gold continuing to trade higher and notes and bonds continuing to trade to higher price and lower yield as well. We get Chairman Powell. He'll be in front of the Senate today. He was in front of the House yesterday. The tenure up by seven ticks at 111.22. That is correlating to a 10 year yield of approaching 4.07%. 4.07%. As yields continuing to drop, you jump over to the dollar index. As you have lower yields, you've had a weaker dollar. We hit a low this morning of 103.14 in the dollar index. We're currently trading at 103.26. Now, as I mentioned, you got an ECB decision out there adding a little bit of volatility to the dollar. And there's your ECB euro volatility right now. As you have the euro spiking down to 108.70, you're at 108.80. Uh, we got a lot to talk about, folks. Stay tuned. I'm coming back from the morning market kickoff. S&P's up by 20. Stay tuned, folks. I'll be back in three minutes. Don't go away.